How's everyone doing? Man, I saw some excellent, excellent uh, free comic day videos. That um, even though <laughs> I got home, uh, got got home pretty early, so I thought, man, it's only 1:40 in the morning. Um, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere for New Comic Day except for, uh... You think it's uh, except healthy for work, to obsessively so collect things? I didn't, I didn't get any of the free Can't connect with other people, so you have some, uh, fill your life with stuff. some eBay purchases like I could share. And, um, thought I'd... Real quick... Run, uh, this list by everyone. Uh, these are the folks that have, uh... Uh, submitted their names. And, uh... Are uh, are going to be in on the the raffle on Friday, May tenth. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not set up to do live right now. So I, I hope I hope that everyone will trust me to give them a straight up um, no funny business <laughs> raffle. Um, but, you know, I, I trust you guys uh, for um, uh, the requirements. So I think we're all good here. But anyway. Here's my, my little list. Almost fill out a, a full backer board. And, um, uh, yeah, there's going to be five prizes so far because uh, I'm doing two. Uh, actually, I already bought the eBay cards, two $25 cards in case two people. Yeah, baby. Uh, from my portion of the dates. raffle. With that. And then um, uh, under the cowl of MS is going to do two little bundles of uh, some comics. And uh, just recently, uh, Happy Wolf Art, he's uh, a volunteer to, he wants for a fifth prize in this raffle, it's going to be a, um, a Spawn Witchblade comic, and he, he publishes his own comics, he's a cartoonist, and he will uh, include one of those too, so... Um, when the names are pulled, uh, that fifth name, uh, if you get in touch with me with your address, I'll, I'll provide my email and, uh, yeah, so there'll be five things. Um, so just off the top, uh, we have, uh, my good pal PGH Zombie. Some people call him Pittsburgh Zombie, I'm just stuck on calling him PGH. Uh, Dr. Silver Age, your buddy Rod, uh, he didn't, um... Get back to me letting me know that he did sub and watch uh, one of Kevin's videos. I saw he commented in, uh, in Kevin's uh, reply section. So I got you down, Rod. Being modest and, uh, you know, I got I got you down. You're going to be in the hat. Uh, Tat Comics, my good friend Taddy. JP All About Comics. Uh, Richard Drossier's uh, Comics and Things. Uh, Happy Wolf Art, he's going to be in on it. My good friend, my real life friend, Jeff Taylor, or Jeff Boyardee. Buddy, we, we missed a, uh, on 420, uh, Comics, Tunes, and Toys did a sale, a dollar sale. Uh, I was working that Saturday too, like an ass. And you blew it! Um, one of my best friends, uh, Fred Hall, Direct Edition. Uh, good luck, Fred. I never got anything out to you. I know you like your comics really minty, and I've always been a little self conscious about my comics. Um, I never had the courage to send any comics your way, but um, man, I'd, I'd love to uh, try to get something out to you. Uh, another one of my, my real life uh, mano y mano hombres, compadre, amigo, uh, Big Elbow, this is my homie. Uh, I even broke bread with Big Lee. I never actually broke bread, but we uh, we had I, I introduced them to um, Myers Dark Rum. Felt really good about that. Dark rum, pretty good with some coke, eh? Uh, Pope Grimy, the grimiest of YouTube popes. Uh, Davis <laughs> comic five said, "Please do not include me. I just want to support the channel." But uh, Davis didn't know about those other prizes, and I didn't want him to miss out. So, uh, Kyle Rowe, uh, Higgy Pop, Higgy. I talked to Higgy on the phone. So me and Jimmy are. Uh, we're, uh, we're besties, we're buds. He knows that we're like, uh, uh, what do you got, um, uh, Duke and, um, uh, Ray Jackson from, uh, Frank Dukes and Ray Jackson from Bloodsport, you know, like, anytime, anywhere, brother, and they're clenching the bandana, it's like, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Jacob Barnowski. 
um, cut you down, Jacob. And get a load of this collector's bounty who I met on eBay. I sold some zombie tramp books, he bought them and showed them on his channel and I commented and we, who says eBay isn't social media, man? We made it happen, we're friends now. And he liked the books and I'm glad he got them. So that's what I got so far. I think we could fill this out a little bit more. So there's uh, five more days and nights. Um, it'll conclude on um, uh, Friday the 10th. I don't know when the raffle will be because uh, I have to get some time together. Um, some toys I bought. I got this. They call her Marvel Boom Boom, but it's it's really we know this is Boomer, and um, yeah, I got her at Wilmington, California, at a Toys vs. Games, and I'm working on um, working on little Fuzzy Nuts' family. So this is um, it's gonna be the star of my little uh, green screen adventures. This Fuzzy right there. Fuzzman Aloysius Nuts. I don't know if it's nuts with a K or just crude nuts. This is their um this is their little son. This is uh, uh Gurney. Offspring. And this is uh this is Fuzzy's old lady. This is uh, Shalada, Felicia Nuts. Yeah. I'm really happy. She, she's wearing a Norma Bates wig. She's really good. And the, the gag is uh, she comes in and she she clunks them with the with the rolling pins. So she has a nice little house dress on. That's uh that's Ma right there. But yeah, that's a happy little family. Um, I got all excited to try some green screen, and then I watched um, the Angry Video Game <laughs> movie. <laughs> Look at that. Man, sometimes it doesn't turn out right. <laughs> Anyhow. Mm. We're going to look at some comics. Um, some of them are a little risque, so... Apologize in advance for having a dirty mind. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, some like tributes to our buddy, uh, Comic Crypt of Castle Hills, Mike. If you're watching, Mike, I hope you had a happy free comic day. Didn't mean to point at you. Um, I'll get this going with some, uh, more wholesome comics. Um, the last. I think the last video I did with a, a ton of editing, well, fun fun times for me, but uh, I, I shared um, a lot of DC books and I got to talking about Impulse and I never got Impulse. I always thought it was like a really cool character. I always um, kind of liked the Flash quite a bit. But Impulse, he also kind of reminded me of uh, Trent Canuga's Creed. Um, you know, with the, the long 90s bangs, kind of the Kurt Cobain hair. Kurt, right before uh, he passed on. Right about there. Shoulder length. So, um, I wanted the first appearance of Impulse. But I couldn't find a, a cheap raw copy. And... Um, I want to get a copy of water damages or tears or anything like that so I saw a cheap one um, it's it's an it's an old uh, CGC real old I mean this thing is like um, <laughs> it's got a ripple on it you know like a, a lip so you can actually serve food on this or you can like put it under a coffee table it fits wobbly I got this uh, shipped for cheaper than it is to uh, case one of these up, so I got the first appearance of Impulse. And you're thinking, well, Rick, you just admitted you don't know anything about Impulse. I did. I 
don't know anything about him. However, I'm, I'm ready to learn. And I feel so low on the screen. I love this. I'm chill, man. I got I got my heat pad on and um, just melting away. I was going to have a, a hard drink, like a, a hard cider or something. I was spared tonight. Um, this boss wanted me to, to park this, uh, um, this contraption they use for, uh, over heights. So it's, uh, it's like this 20, 20 foot, um, um, wheel move. And he spared me. He told me to park it a certain way. He pulled it and even showed me how he wanted it done. And, uh, I did like, like this boss. No, <laughs> like this boss. No. And like, finally, he, he, he's, I could tell that I'm on his good side at the same time. And then like third time I got it third time's a charm. So I just felt like such a bonehead, but, um, you know what? Some, sometimes some nights are just like that. You just got to roll with it. But, um, I wanted to come home and have a beer and kind of forget about it. Oh, no. I'm like, Come on, man, you never were that smart Drive anyway. It's not truck. that big of a deal. <laughs> so I got I got over myself and I said, you know what? Just live above the influence. I got impulse. I know, I know, I did it. I did it. Uh, I got I got a nice little run. Basically a dollar a book. That's impulse one. Two. I think I'm gonna like it. I like Mark Wade. Um Damn sight better than Chris Claremont. Mark Wade is no Peter David, but he's a damn sight better than Chris Claremont. Anyhow, it's issue three. Issue four. And, uh, you know, I never really um, had any Humberto Ramos comics. And I don't know, man, I like it. I don't know. I even kind of like the guy they got to come in after him, who's like, you know, they probably had draw like Humberto. But, um, yeah, man, these just look like fun. And, you know, it, it's kind of cool when you get a nice little run of some books. You can kind of see how the logo evolves, how they use different colors each month, uh, the whole uh, art decor. You can see how the ads change. If they had a letter column, which I dig. I like I like letters columns. You guys ever get any letters published? I never did, but I got when Wizard was doing pen pals. Um, I sent in my name, address, and my three favorite comics, and they published it. And after that, I had a bunch of pen pals. I didn't have any internet or anything. I didn't... I don't even really think uh, there was much point in, in chat rooms. <laughs> um, and I also, I had something published in the Max. Right around book 15, I did the same thing. Um, I sent in my name and address, and this little thing they'd run at the bottom of the letters section of the Max. Notice I don't have anything to say about these, because I never read them. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, yeah, I, I put um, looking for other victims of Sam Keith's artwork. And um, boy, I got in touch with a lot of really sad teenagers. like And a couple of like older kids, really, really goth kids, but also some really depressed kids. <laughs> it was great. It was great because even... Uh, even though the majority of them were clinically depressed. Manic depression is raging my soul. Music, sweet music. Anyhow, um, yeah, they didn't bum me out. I mean, try to keep in touch with some of them. When some of them stopped writing, I was like, another one bites the dust. But, man, it was great. I made some, some good friends that way. Um, yeah, those... Those pen pals were cool. I got, I became pretty good friends with uh, one of my pen pals, and uh, we had a falling out a couple of years ago. Um, but for the most part, happy memories. 
It's a nice white cover. Um, yeah, this kid's like a gamer, and he's a comic reader. He's a typical 90s teen, which, mm, 97, I was 17, so probably about the same age. Probably looked at the same dirty magazines I did. Guest starring Jesse Quick. <laughs> How easy could she be? Jesse Quick. <laughs> Do your parents know where you are, Jesse? Oh, Impulse 23. Yeah, I don't have many more of these. I knew you can't have too much of a good thing. But, you know, it's a shame, you know, they, they have this uh, make a best offer section. Sometimes you, you know, I just like to Flirt with disaster. Not like gambling, but just like this guy wants 60 bucks for the comics. Let's offer him 22. <laughs> and you're like, all right, I'm going to go to sleep. And then you wake up and you realize you just spent $22. The guy insta accepted. That's 27. So that's the lesson of the story. Don't, um, don't look at eBay before you go to sleep because you could accidentally buy something pressing the button, or you could kind of like just a throwaway thought. I'll offer this low ball. <laughs> and you're, you're just thinking, all right, it felt kind of good, you know, like let off some steam, throw a low ball offer out into the universe. And you wake up and the guy is like, gotcha. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you didn't think I'd accept, sucker. <laughs> mm. Man. Can't tell you how many times they got me with that one. Anyhow, got some uh, it's a Rugrats comic of Reptar. This was a con exclusive somewhere. I got that. I paid. Uh, I paid what the seller wanted. This was a really weird thing. The seller in the description they said I only sell comics to people who leave feedback. And I felt, like, threatened by this. Like, how, how can you make me give you feedback once I, once I bought it? But they packaged it so nicely. And ultimately, I, I saw that one of them was thrown in as an autograph book. And even though I felt, like, compelled not to comment, and, and I left positive feedback. It worked. She got me. I, I can tell it, this was a, a listing um, posted by a lady because everything had a, like a real feminine uh, quality to it. So at one point it became a, a manner of uh, chivalry to leave the positive feedback. Um, these guys have been a little bit of a nightmare. Great sellers. Uh, I wanted this book. Uh, it's a uh, John Vasquez. Um, what do you call it? Variant cover of a panther. Tom Snagowski writer. Uh, Igor Lima art. And I thought, man, I'd like this book. People are selling them for twenty. Uh, this one store had an auction starting at five bucks. Uh, cut to the chase. I got it for the five, no one else bid. Excellent packaging, sent out immediately. Everything was great. But these guys keep like messaging me about the cells they have. So even in my feedback, I wrote, great service. I only just wanted this one comic. Uh, beautiful communication, just this one comic. Um, sent immediately. Uh, great packaging, arrive mint, please. I only want this one comic. So I hope, I hope they get the picture. This one comic guys, if you're watching, this is what I wanted. So please don't hit me up about buying more comics. I come to you. you know, that that's the nature of selling comics on eBay. You go to, you go to the seller. Um, so 
I've I've had a real thing going lately for these old Archie adventure series. I want I just man I I love comics based on cartoons and video games. Um, and Archie's got a lot of good stuff. Um, I got these Sonic books. Uh, I got some more on the way. I was I was weak, boys and lady. I think I have one uh, one lady subs my channel from uh, um, Appaloosa. Appaloosa. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sonic. Um, Sonic issue zero. Man, I just ugh. so Sega Comics. You probably know this, but in the early 90s, there were two different Sonic cartoons airing at the same time. One was dark and dramatic, the other was a hilarious comedy about chili dogs. And the same guy played Sonic in both- Ladies and gentlemen, Sonic the Hedgehog gets mugged. Enjoy. <laughs> Moink, 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 moink. part of the original miniseries. Issue one. Yeah. I like it. Sonic issue two. These are drawn by someone named Scott Shop. I like this Sonic. I'm not so big on the Sonic that came later. They, they gave him like the real long legs. I don't know. I, I like this little um, stubby Sonic. Hey, yo, Stubby! That's the Sonic I like. I think... It's one of, like, the first times I ever saw a uh, Attack Comics video. He had his, uh... His eldest son helped him with the video. And, um... Tat was saying he got this comic, um... Uh, cause, you know, his, his wife... Uh, her... Her fondness of Sonic made him you know, partial to the comic. And I'll never forget it. Uh, Tat's son, he, he blurt, Tat's son blurts out how much Tat paid for this, his comic. And it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Like, I, I, I could kind of feel like, ah, man, he got you, Tat. But it was innocent. He, uh, Tat's eldest son was such a, a little kid at the time. Um... So Davis, uh, he let me know about a sale that was going on during Easter. Davis got a, like a, a Santa Claus Spider-Man cover. Uh, I got this. Um, I don't know who that is. I just, you know, I saw a leggy blonde. Uh, you know, she's a roller girl. I thought it was great, man. All you have to do is pay shipping and it's a uh, beautiful variant cover. So thank you for thinking of me, Davis, and um, um, it's a beautiful comic. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm never going to read this. Spider-Man 40, Legacy 394. Um, it's got great ears. I tried drawing ears once, never again. <laughs> um... So here's a California Fresh Raisins. That's from Blackthorn Comics. That's issue one. Issue two. I gotta change the bagging boards and so we'll leave it right here. Doing a big bagging and boarding project lately. Issue three. Bagging and boarding a lot of robins lately. It's so much fun. Comics. They do not come with the glasses, but I have uh, 3D glasses with stems. Um, my uh, Valiant verse uh, 3D comics. And this is issue 5. Uh, they couldn't call them the Raisinettes, so they called them the Lady Raisins. Maybe. Tell me, um, a Motown uh, doo wop singing group, you know, you know, of, uh, what the, what the Raisinettes would, who would they be? 
I thought that was a nice book. Um, anyhow, let me see what I got here. Uh, I think I've showed a lot of these. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. oh, yeah, here's one of my... I got a couple of these. This, this is one of the ideas for a sketch cover. Oh, this is this one's for Davis. That sketch cover's tape. Well, here's some nice covers. I'm not too ashamed of these. Uh, these are that uh, Will Jack. Um, these are some nice covers he did of um, Power Girl. It is a really nice Power Girl. Um, here's a gun, honey. Oh, these comics are heavy. <laughs> uh, what is this? I don't even know what issue this is. Gun, honey. Get your mind out of the gutter, Rick. I know, but, you know, it's Power Girl. How could Power Girl not be wholesome? Believe it or not, that was my, my train of thought line now. Here's like more of a close up cover. Pretty nice cover. Um, let's see what else I got here. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Let me show these real quick. These are by that artist um, that Mike knows, Shikari. These are, uh, one is of Bell. No nudity. I'll be showing no, I don't want to get my channel flagged. I love talking to you guys too much to ever risk my channel. Um, so, hopefully no one is too offended by scantily clad. Uh, I understand if you can't comment, you don't, you don't want to be affiliated with it. But, uh, one is of uh, Snow White. Snow White I got because it looks just like Natalie Portman. I was 19 when the Phantom Menace dropped and um, my brother was, God, how old was my brother? My brother was 10. He, he really liked Natalie. And then this uh, Belle, so we got Snow White and Belle. Belle looks like Kirsten Dunst to me. But a couple more really pretty covers, a couple of brunettes. Hopefully the glare is not too crazy. So, yeah, yeah. you know you're working too much when you're buying, when you're buying covers like that. <laughs> what were you thinking? Um, so this one, I I don't really sub to Kickstarters anymore. I just don't have the I don't have the time. I hate having money tied up for that long on a card. And um, I still, Dan Mendoza is still like one of the coolest artists I ever met. Nicest guy, man. That guy treats you like family. But I, I don't really uh, submit to a lot of Kickstarters. Just can't do it. Sometimes I don't even know if my, my card will be active. But um, this seller right here sold me this Zombie Tramp Lady Death. And coolest thing about it he sent me he emailed me the digital comic and i got to send it to a bunch of guys and it was cool because i know a lot of people like lady death um if if you want the digital comic i could probably send it to you. i don't know if dan likes that though i'll risk it if you got if you want if you're in touch with me i think How do I get it? I think I got it on WhatsApp or something. Anyway, Lady Death Zombie Tramp. 
I flip through. Yeah, Mendoza saying uh, hello. <laughs> and the Hall of Justice. Yeah, to the Hall of Justice. <laughs> Lady Death and Zombie Trap. It just is. Got some uh, Josh Shower. Josh Shower actually worked on Lady Death. This is his project. Dead at 17. I actually bought these from a seller. The the package came really rough. Uh, he sent them all media, but um, I got my brother some really nice art. And I, I told the guy I can't leave any feedback until uh, my brother gets to look at these. And, um, it, it was just a shame. If he had let me know that he was going to go media, I would have sent him more money to him. Um, there was something not made yet. Luckily, I don't think there was any damage. Um, Josh Howard. It just brings back a lot of good memories. I remember um, ten years ago, uh, a friend of my brother's that he knew um, from like the PlayStation Network was um, was getting commissions from Josh Howard. This person may have lived in Australia. I can't remember. Maybe not though. But it was just really cool to see some commissions and um, yeah, Josh Howard's just a man. Um, when, it, when it comes to the cartoony stuff, I don't think anyone draws quite as nice as he does. I just I, I love I, I love the cartoony stuff. I can't help it. I lo I love all art, all good comic art. The stuff. I remember trying to trying to make make comics that look like this at one point. So forgive me if um you prefer the comics to be a little less um toony. But it's all good, right? We'll get through it. I got I got some other stuff that might be more crowd pleasing. Okay, so what else can I show in here? Show that. Show that. Oh, <laughs> this is another one of the Power Girls, but in this one she's pouting. <laughs> so they made it where you had to buy the whole collection to get her pouting. And I think it was worth it. Because she really looks like a girl who's on a road trip with her guy. And she's not having a good time. She's not going to smile. This is like her... 12th silent treatment of the day and I'm I'm here for it. That's her that's her right, you know? It's good for her. Oh yeah, this one also no nudity. <laughs> April O'Neil. <laughs> uh, well, this was another one. It's the turtles cover. I got it for the turtles. Um, each turtle is represented. That's another one that Mike uh, showed you. God, it was years ago now. How, how long has Mike been away? Got to get in touch with you, Mike. It's not, it's not right. Um, I show these? Maybe not. This is Lorna Relic Wrangler. That is a R.I.P. Darwin Cook cover. This is kind of a blonde uh, Lara Croft. Sure. Um, so shout out to the buddy Lee, who recently discovered um, Mandy comics by Dean Eagle. Uh, Mandy uh, is. It's a saucy, it's, it's, it's not filth, it's all classy art. It's about as um, sophisticated as Frazetta's not, naughty kind of comics he did. But this is a Dean Eagle, Lorna, Relic Wrangler. I'm sorry, I know turning it in slightly distorts it. Yeah, so I think he kind of drew a man as well. 
and said some bread, sir, if you please. Oh, the waiter's voice roared down the hall. Oh, yeah, this is when the JP got no me uh, bread a with fan one of. meatball. One uh, meatball. About two birthdays ago, all about comics one JP. Um, he got you this as a birthday no present from one um, meatball. not Hazel Dan, but another. A uh, friend or a, a couple of friends of his. Miss Carla Cohen, Miss uh, Yao one. Carla Cohen. I don't want to be too frankly. I don't know if as of this moment. But last I heard that um, Carla Cohen and Lucio Perillo, they were an item in their both insanely talented just everything about them just oozes charisma artists and hey yo uh, that's uh, Carla Cohen doing Miss Meow very nice and, um, so I got a couple of these one, one of them is a, a prize option it's the Carla Cohen that's not all jacked up right there it's just like a bad Carla Cohen Gun Honey. Very young. If anyone likes Ariana Grande. Cat Valentine. That's kind of why I bought it. I, I really like Carla Cohen. So if anyone, or even two people, <laughs> if um, if both uh, prize winners in, in my uh, section of the prize pool want uh, Carla Cohen Gun Honey, could be. Um, this is another Shikari. Uh, this is a Vampirella 666 cover. I, I think this cover is a little dark, but she is in a pool of diluted hemoglobin. So, yeah, she's really, really spending her time. Uh, Nicely. Here's, here's the third gun on you. <laughs> so I'll still have one, even if I'm, I sent you away. Let's see. It's just my old Silk Spectre. Finally got it into a top loader. Um, uh, oh, yeah. This is a. Uh, Milo Minara, Italiano, Gambino. Hey yo! Um, <laughs> Psylocke. Um, got a roll Psylocke here. Yeah. Psylocke and, um, yeah. I got some Chun Li books on the way. I love, I love Chun Li. Uh, this is a David Nakayama. Knock over your mama. Psylocke. <laughs> As you can see, and I, I haven't been doing a lot of reading lately. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. You've already seen that. I already seen that. No. Okay. Ugh. Oh yeah. Chun Li. So I got this one in the mail. This is um anything I get a Street Fighter, if my brother happens to come on it, it's his. My brother loves Street Fighter, maybe more than I do, because he's played like Street Street Fighter Five. Um, here's another Chumley. So yeah, my brother ever see, he knows if anything ever happens to me, all my comics are his regardless. However, if he doesn't want to wait, he can have them now. Um, so I'm gonna show a couple more things, and then I gotta get up. I thought I was all situated. I gotta get up. Um, Forty minutes. Well, that's all right. 
so these uh my pants <laughs> caught on barbed wire good lord choke an a-bomb yeah! becoming radioactive from this day forward i shall call myself radioactive, yeah, radioactive man um it looks it doesn't look like the Radioactive Man from the Radioactive Man comic is what I noticed and what had me on the fence about it. Um, if you look at the Bongo Radioactive Man, like, even if you look at this Radioactive Man, he looks like a superhero. He looks like a righteous, um, ass-kicking superhero. And this this guy looks like he could probably lose in a fight. <laughs> I mean, if you put this guy up against Tiggy Pop, I, I think I think this guy is uh, going home with a broken nose, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But he's got the American flag. His um his little comic is in there upside down. Uh, so yeah, he's got some hands. He's got a, a more stoic. Um, Gallant, noble, valiant face. But he, he's, he's fine. I like him. I really... I'm so happy to have him. I mean, it's the, it's the best radioactive man figure they've ever made by a lot. I'm just, um... You know, maybe one day they'll actually make a guy who looks like the radioactive man comic and... Uh, is that supposed to... No, that's not McBain as radioactive man. McBain's like Arnie. And this one was my favorite. Um, ever since I was about seven years old, and my dad went to um, one of my maternal uncles, uh, got a Tyson fight on pay per view, and I didn't get. I don't think I got to go to the fight, but it didn't matter. We love Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's punch out was a game my dad actually liked to see me play. And it was really fun to uh you know get knocked out in the second round by Bald Bull. And like he let me play until I um until I lost the fight. So um I'd have to go to bed a lot of times after I lose. So there was a lot riding on the line, you know. When uh King Tiger was doing the uh the teleporting punch, I really wanted to time it. But back to the point. Because there is one. My dad uh, went to a Tyson fight. Not not his brother. An uncle of mine from the other side of the family got the fight. And they, the guys bet on it. There was maybe eight or nine guys there. And they they thought that the guy taking on Tyson was a baller. They thought he was going to dethrone Iron Mike, Kid Dynamite. My dad took... He wanted Tyson in the first. Everyone thought he was a joker. Tyson tagged that dude so hard his head spun. I've I've since seen footage. I, it wasn't someone decent like Buster Douglas. It was a guy that they brought up thinking he could actually dethrone Iron Mike. Iron Mike took the guy's head off. And my dad... That was the first bet I ever made in my life and I won. My dad, I think he probably made like 800 bucks but he gave me uh eight dollars right do you feel remorse for your crime oh yes believe me my god if i could turn back the clock on my mother's stair pushing i would certainly reconsider it Drenric, uh what do you think of homer simpson i think he's a good man i like him i got nothing against him but i'm definitely gonna make orphans of his children uh you know they do have a mother champ yes but i would imagine that she would die of grief Drenric, over here. Oh, yeah. Comes with a sneaker, uh, different gloves, a champion's belt. Um, comes with a, I guess that's an ear biting face and a, a jolly face. And man, that's great. Th this one exceeds expectation and he's heavy. Feels like a heavyweight champion. So, yeah. You know, maybe not the most appropriate hero, but man, winning winning that bet, I didn't even know I was gambling on the fight. 
When my dad gave me that eight bucks, and I felt like it. I felt like a winner. It felt good. I I I knew at that point that grown men punching each other in the faces as hard as they possibly could was a good thing. Anyhow, I got one more thing. Um, and I will try to keep this going in real time. But, uh, ugh, I won't keep you too long. Oh, whoa. Comic books are heavy. Man. Give me a second. Yeah, man, those are my games. Uh, Metroid, Legend of Zelda, and Mike Tyson Punch. Uh, those are still my classics. And my favorite Mario is um, Mario 2. I got another Kickstarter, but I didn't kickstart. I just... Um, I guess I need someone to kickstart for me. Quarter round with Tyson. Tyson on his deathbed. Break my red cage in 12 places. Speaking of sports, I got this. Also thinking of my dad. Two of his favorite pitchers of all time. Uh, J.R. Richard and no one right. Let me make sure this is not my address. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. A little eight by ten image of uh, Nolan Ryan and J.R. Richard. Get that little frame. Look at the way the um yellow, orange, and red orange pop. Days. So, I cut myself off though. I said, no more eBay. And this next thing I'm calling a early birthday present. I'm gonna be 44 in June. But, because oh, I got to be, I got to be seven years old when my. Mike Tyson tag of that dude. And I, I wouldn't give that up for a second. I wouldn't give that up to you. 20 years old today. So, I'm drawing again. And ultimately, I figure I'm going to be doing some different kind of art. Um, so, I bought me. Scratchboard, which is always my. It is an Amazon perforate at the top. Yes. I refuse to buy from Amazon, so I buy from people on eBay, and they buy from Amazon and send it to me and, and make, like, make like a dollar with their Amazon Prime. Yeah, Scratchboard. If you never did a Scratchboard, I really recommend it. All you have to do is draw on this, this a white slate underneath, and black clay is uh, applied with precision, perfectly smooth, and as you scratch away with these tools, these needle point tools, you reveal 
the um with a lot of different gradation I might add the white underneath so these these are some tools I never tried these I just I don't want to spend a lot on it so I just bought the cheapest tools available but um yeah so thank you everyone uh, that's been sharing their art uh, happy wool thank you for your uh, your cartooning tutorials those are awesome by the way tap comics always drawn hey you pop always drawn hey y'all working on it man I I did a I did a big version of uh, the piece we've been talking about yeah, I, I'm starting to feel better about it anatomy was, was never my strong point in art but, um, <laughs> I'm looking at like I'm looking at some uh, muscleman like Arnie in his prime trying trying to figure out back muscles are tough. Draw back if you can draw back muscles good. You're a you're a fine artist. Can I draw back muscles well? But I'm working on it. I'm getting there, you know. I'm not like drawing from life, I'm not going down to like Malibu Beach and, you know, <laughs> drawing from life, I don't want to get punched in the nose. Alright, so anyway, hour long video. You guys, I love comic books based on video games. Um, and this is a Kickstarter I miss because I don't do them anymore, but uh, it's an Earthworm Gym bundle. I haven't looked at any of this. Um, uh, it's the first time looking at this stuff here. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's open it up. Um, so, a lot of this is little like this. This guy basically sold my sold me his entire. Um, like all the loot he got. So it's an Earthworm Gym sticker. Oh boy. Um, I'll take this out. I need a <laughs> I need a bag and board now. Um, yeah, got the hit. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna put this on hold. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of nice comics and there's some stickers. An Evil, the Cat comic. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna just like start flipping this stuff around. I'll, I'll do that later. I'll share the individual comics some other time. But um, let's take a look at some of these, these other goodies in here. Uh, from, from Doug Tenable, creator of Earthworm Gym. What do we have? Creature Tech. Some full color, digest size comic. This was put out by Image. Alright. Nervous Synergy. Nervous. You never know how you're gonna do with these Kickstarters. This this looked like a good one. I kind of regret not pledging, but this person did it for me. Doug Tenable's year. Another beautiful comic, smaller size. This is like all of it. I think I have one issue right here. I think I have that issue right there. It's kind of like that thing where um, an artist gets really famous for doing a character, but they no longer own the rights to that character, so they they make another character that looks just like, <laughs> looks just like the character. It's it's the way they don't get sued. <laughs> Anyhow, oh. this is Launch the Cow. If you ever played. Earthworm Gym, your first 
action in the game is catapulting a cow, like level one, like basically the equivalent of killing your first Goomba in Super Mario Brothers. You catapult a cow, and you don't even know why until until the very end of the game. Uh, yes, oh, it's a nice big book. Um, I'll just hold up the regular size comics. So get the idea. Nice big hardcover book. And the guy didn't really even hammer me on it. I think he just kind of wanted out of the project. He sent this to me for what I think is probably retail. Like, what probably, in terms of retail, what, what he had into it. Which was really nice. It was really nice of him to do that. To, uh, to front his money, back a project. And then, um, I don't know, it's kind of nice. You don't have to make a profit? Like, thanks, dude. Like, shoot. I never make a profit. <laughs> I always take a hit. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to meet someone who, like, buys something and resells it for equal or less value. It's like, it's a good tradition. I really recommend it. I'm like, terrible business, man. But you see how it is? When I sell on eBay, they like me so much we become friends. <laughs> That's great, man. Give someone something at an incredible price, you got a friend for life. I recommend it. And this is Fight the Fish. That's definitely his Hellboy stuff, but... Anyhow, that's kind of what's been going on here. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to crack into this Kickstarter a little further. Let's just open up one of these books, because... I just want to get a little high. Just get a little high. Crack. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. All right, but well, uh, I'm ruining your own comic the first night. Anyhow, yeah, I'm kind of shot the wad on my uh, my comic book money for the year Comic-Con Revolution I look I looked at it I asked Davis hey Davis what do you think of these artists he, he agreed he agreed Adam Adam Kubert was a really nice name Dave Johnson really nice name Abstar really nice name uh, Samoa Joe's gonna be that a really nice name, but you know, man, I don't know. Unless, unless if you're going Lee, I'll, I'll probably I'll go. I promise that if Lee comes down to SoCal for uh, a show, I, I'm buying dinner. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go to a sushi buffet. And, uh, that includes the whole family, Lee. Even if you bring um, Warlock, I'll buy, I'll buy Warlock dinner. A little SoCal hospitality. But other than that, like, I don't really think I'm, I'm going to that show. The main reason I wanted to go to that show last time pre-pandemic was Jimmy Shooter. My valiant hero, Jimmy Shoots, was going to be there. But uh, since... Since they kind of got it back organized, he hasn't signed back on. So, uh, yeah. No Jimmy Shoots. No Tiki, no laundry. Sorry. Anyhow, 
that's um, that's about it. Thanks for um, watching one of these endeavors. I thought I'd show some tender mercy and lay, lay off the editing for five seconds. I'm gonna miss it. I'll be I'll be back. I just need to. Um... Shoot, I don't I don't need comics. I don't need any comics to do editing. I'll I'll figure out something to edit. I like do a, a video all about Robin and edit. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Um, uh, what do we got? Five more days. And uh, thanks for everyone. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, under the cowl of MS, over 100 subs. These guys are amazing. Um, so nice. All you. Just to do that. Trust my, trust my taste in uh, comic book videos and follow someone. You guys are the best. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go get drunk. <laughs> I have a bottle of tequila on the fridge with my name on it. Um, no, it's it's all good. Thanks for watching. And um, what else can I do? Oh yeah, this, <laughs> I don't have this figured out yet. I'll just bring the family. So. It's the family. This guy, this little guy brings shame to the family. And you know, the, this guy cracks wise and, and she bonks him over the head. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. I'm gonna figure out how to do it. I even got a phone for him. I got like a, a little telephone that he, he picks up. Like he, you know, he'll, he'll rush over from the shower, pick up the phone and someone's uh, prank calling him. It's gonna be great. And all the while, she's bonking him on the head. <laughs> all right, just playing. I'm just playing with my toys now. I will end the video. Thanks for watching. This stuff's just been piling up. This is the stuff that I wasn't gonna show, but came home in a good mood. And all those great um, free comic day videos made me want to shoot. Um, again, sorry I can't go live. That's probably my next video going to be um, the final um, head count. We're going to, you know, I'm going to do a video. If, if anyone who wants to be enrolled, if they're not down already. And by the way, um, um, the two cabins, um, uh, under the cowl of MS and um, Happy Wolf. Uh, if, if someone international wins, I'll, I'll take care of it. Just um, send me the comics, and I'll send them to them. In case they're going, uh, let's see, Kyle Rowe in Scotland. If Kyle Rowe in Scotland wins, I will um, I will send them there. I don't... I believe Jacob's in the U.S. I'm Maybe at least, maybe one person on this list is from Canada. I'm not sure. I think they're all in the U.S. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for uh, participating in the contest. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I haven't done any, um, like, raffle or anything in a while. I think the last time we did something with Harley cards. God, that was a long time ago. Davis and I were still spring chickens. He, we had, I think he'd hit 100 subs and I'd hit maybe 200. But man, we were just kids. Now he's on the wrong side of 30. I'm on the wrong side of 40. Where'd we go wrong? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>